our next lesson here with Cyber Cafe Pro is setting up the pricing structure. Easily the most important feature because it enables you to charge your customers money. So basically we want to hit the admin section and then under the pricing and stock setup area, go to the pricing option. Now under this setup in my wizard, what I did was I set up time code mode, but I didn't set up play and pay mode, which is the pay after mode. So just to show you how to set up that pricing structure also, I'm going to cancel out of here and head up to the admin area, system settings, and then location configuration. You'll see that play and pay mode is not enabled right now. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. And then click OK to save my settings. Let's return back to the pricing screen. And here you'll see that the screen has completely changed and now there's a play and pay group one. Where you're interested in is the hourly rate under basic pricing for most people. So let's change that for our example to $10. Now the box below it is the, either the minimum or the base price. So what that does is that makes it so a user can't get out of your cafe without spending at least that much money. So in this example right now, I have it set to $1. So no matter what, they're being charged a dollar and as it passes that amount it'll continue to climb up. Base pricing basically means that it'll start now if I had five dollars at five dollars and count up there and the first hour would actually be 15. So now you can see here this is the screen for time code mode if we wanted to use it but we will set it up a little differently so I'm just going to click OK and head back to the location configuration again because I'm going to use time code mode as our Example, since it's the most robust and um, it guarantees you get your money. So let's continue on and we are going to set up our location to be in time code mode. So to do that, we want to head back up and go to the pricing screen. Here you'll see the time slash account group. And basically we want to look under area number two to start and click under time codes. And here you'll see the grid that will allow you to start setting up the pricing. I want to charge by minute for this example. Basically what that means is every minute is broke down to be 1 60th of the hourly that price that you charge. Charge by block would mean they get charged the full amount for that hour in advance. So let's go ahead and add for the first 60 minutes, let's make it $10. Now after this, every integer we add in the next box will add on to the grid. So if we add another 60 minutes at $5, we now have the second hour being worth $5 an hour. And we can go ahead and click add as many times as we want to add more hours. So let's bring it up to about five hours. Just as an aside, let's say you wanted to give the sixth hour away for free. You can do that under the grid. Just change that box to zero for the, six, the 60 minutes equals zero. And the sixth hour will be free. Go ahead and add it to the grid. And bring your cursor down to number three there. And you can use this section to test how much each hour or time frame is going to cost. So as an example, let's see how many three hour, sorry, 300 minutes will cost, which is five hours. So basically 300 minutes cost $30. But under our example, 360 minutes also cost thirty dollars. Here in area two you can actually set up what each hour that's not on the grid will cost. So for our example we'll keep the five dollar theme going and if we adjust it to say six hundred minutes or ten hours we will then get a total of fifty dollars. If we eliminate that free hour, just by clicking on it and hitting the delete button, you can see it instantly changes to $55. So to make our pricing structure even more flexible, we can get right out of here also and set up user accounts for members, but set them up at a different pricing structure. 
You can see here the structure remains for time codes. So at a 10 hour code, we're gonna see a $55 charge. But we can go under the user count pricing and set up a completely different structure. And for those who you set up an account for, say with a username and password, they will have a different rate if you choose to have that. So let's make this one $7 for the first hour. And then once again, we'll give a discounted rate for the second hour, make it $4, bring our way down for the first five hours. Six hours, doesn't matter. Technically, we didn't really even need to go beyond the first hour because we can just go under area two and set each additional minute, each additional 60 minutes, sorry, to be $4. Now, if we do a test in area three for 10 hours or 600 minutes, we'll see it's only $43 for those members. Now these pricing structures can work alongside each other. You can use user accounts and time codes in the same location, having a flexible pricing structure and making your customers happy. So now that we have our pricing structure set up, let's go put it into effect. Let's create a time code by going up to the top of the screen there and hitting the time codes option. We'll just generate a code for now. we can make the code for any value you want, but let's say for one hour or 10 hours, let's make it 10 hours and make sure to pay attention to number one with the amount of codes that you're going to generate. We're only going to generate one for now to keep it exa uh, the example easy. And then we're going to go down and hit the generate only button. Because if we hit the generate and sell button, the point of sale register will automatically come up and you'll be ready to sell that code. So you'll be able to see now that this code appears in the grid below. Now this code has not been sold yet, so it's not active in your cafe. It's good for 600 minutes or 10 hours, but we can easily sell it by clicking on it. Then going down to sell codes. You'll see that code's worth $55, which it should be, because it's a time code. Then you can click enter to sell the code. This screen here is just a calculator for you. It's not tracked anywhere. So enter your, let's say we get $60. Now your employee knows you're supposed to get, give $5 back. Kind of helps you not lose money by giving the wrong change. Now if you go above in the, in the show area and play with the grid, you can see you know, which, ca which codes are sold, which this one is. You can go to unsold, there's no unsold codes. Or you can go to all and show everything. That's gonna do it for this lesson, but check back for our next lesson on how to create a user account. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out internetcafesoftware.com for more lessons on CyberCafe Pro. See you then.